Hello everybody and welcome to Promise Gaming and Cities Skylines. Yes, we're finally playing this game. I hope you're excited because I know that I am. I get requests for this game quite often and have never really had the chance to play it, but now I'm making the time because Cities Skylines is just that dang good. Actually, I'm a little bit nervous. It's the first time I've played a modern city builder on this channel since SimCity 5 released a uh, while back, at the very early days of this channel. Uh, I don't th even think you can find those videos anymore, they're pretty much gone, but City Skylines is everything that SimCity should have been and then some. It is a fantastic game, arguably the best city builder currently available on the market, and I'm looking forward to playing with for you guys today. We will be using the Green Cities expansion as well as all of the other DLC, so that should be pretty fine. Let's go ahead and get some very basic opening moves for our city. I'm going to go ahead and create a quick grid pattern, in no small part making use of the uh, one-way roads. Reason being, I find that these help to reduce traffic quite a bit because traffic lights are just of the devil. And we don't have access to the large roundabouts yet, so I think this is going to have to do. We'll do something kind of like this, probably. Create a grid going all the way up here, kind of like that. And we'll do something over here as well. It's a little bit close to the shoreline, but I think we can probably make that work. Uh, I know grid patterns are not exactly the most beautiful thing to look at, but eventually we will get rid of it, I promise. Uh, this is just to get me started because I do want to have um, a good size population, like 2,000 or something like that. Just to kind of get some stuff started, just so I can unlock a lot of the new content currently available in City Skylines and just have some fun with it. Alright, let's see. We're going to go ahead and do something kind of like this. I need to learn the hotkeys of the game, too. That will be kind of important. We'll do a bit of uh, commercial zoning there. Probably a bit of industrial zoning, kind of like so. And then we'll do one more set of roads. Yeah, I think we probably will do something kind of like this. Set it all the way up here. Do that. And then a little bit of action right there. Okay. All right. Now we need to get some power going. Uh, what's a good place to put some power? Now, I do like to use the wind turbines in the early game. The coal generators are pretty reasonable, um, but eventually we'll move on to different power sources. And in green cities, they did add quite a few new ones, I believe. Uh, let's see, there's ocean thermal energy conversion plants and so on. I mean, that's pretty cool. But for now, let's go ahead and stick with some windmills. Uh, there's a few different places we could put this that all would make some sense along the coastline. Maybe over here on this side of the water. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's make sure we get a good full 8 megawatts, though. So kind of like that should be fine. We'll set up some power, go over probably right along the coastline over here. And then... If I were to set up right through this kind of little avenue here where there is no zoning, I can do something like that, and it won't actually impact me in any meaningful way. So that should be a little bit, a little bit better, I think. Just, a, just, ah, darn it. Just a little bit better, I think, if I can actually aim this stuff. And we'll have to set some power up down this direction, of course, because I am going to have to set up some sort of a sewer outlet. Uh, let's grab a water pumping station. I think one right over... One right over here is probably pretty good. Then we'll go ahead and get some power run over to that, like so. And then we could do a sewer outlet, like a water drain pipe, which is disgusting and puts out a load of pollution. Or we do have immediate access to the eco water outlet, which is a greener alternative that is more expensive to operate, but does not output quite as much pollution. A fair bit, but not quite as much. And then I do have a couple of different mods and stuff that add in some other things, like a larger water pumping station, blah, blah, blah. We'll go ahead and place you right there, I think. And, uh, you weren't wired up to begin with? Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Set you up like so. There we go. Okay. Now we should be set up. And then we just need some pipes. Uh, let's see. We don't have any heating. I did actually think about playing this, um, on one of the winter maps because I thought that would be awesome. But, unfortunately, uh, I don't know how that's gonna work with green cities because, well, wintry cities aren't exactly known for being green all the time. They're known for being white. So we're just going to do something like this instead. There we go. Just get a few pipes set up. Something kind of like this should be fine. And then boom. What's going on over here? What's this? What's this junction? Oh, seems like our power... Right, well, our power doesn't currently have anywhere to go because we don't have any housing development. But that should happen. Oh, look, see, that's already changing right now. Hello, the Myrtle residence. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and put things on speed five. We're going to try to get ourselves to about 2,000 population in this video if I can, which should not be too hard, especially using a basic grid pattern. And then later, we'll beautify the crud out of this area, and I'm hoping to make good use of this bay in order to get some proper water tourism, because I think that would be quite fun. I've always thought, by the way, that in City Skylines, it's kind of funny that uh, basic residential housing has scaffolding like this when it's being built. That's not how basic homes are built, okay? I mean, it's cool, and I understand why the developers did it, but 
my experience, no. Actually, some of these houses are really nice looking. I'd love to live in a house like that. That is gorgeous. And all the new residents are moving in. Hi, guys. I hope you're excited about your new home in New Profsburg. Those of you who have watched my Urban Empire playthrough will know exactly what that's a reference to. Oh, it's a quaint little hamlet of a town. It's got a few homes, little ice cream parlor. It's just unimposing and beautiful. Who doesn't like a beautiful ocean view like this? Covered by power lines. And there we go, we are a little hamlet, which means we now have access to taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, education, landfills, schools, clinics, recycling, community schools, and so on. Ah, let's take a quick look at some of that stuff. We do need to get some garbage collection going at some point. Um, we could go for a standard landfill, but a new thing that was added in is the recycling center, which is a little bit more expensive, but again, reduces the pollution, and I think the capacity is not terrible processing rate is 48,000 per week as opposed to a landfill which just fills up and then stays there for freaking ever now we're gonna go for a recycling center I'll probably place you right over I think this actually should be pretty fine maybe we could do this instead I kind of like placing it right there we're gonna place a recycling center like so uh, we do need to get a basic school now we could do an elementary school or we could do the community school now, I don't really see the point of doing a community school. The community school uh, has a student capacity of 250 and costs 240 per week to maintain as a simple alternative. Instead, the elementary school has a capacity of 300 and costs $160, so it's cheaper and more effective. So, while I'm sure the community schools look cool and all, I think elementary schools are probably going to be the way to go. So, we will set up, let's say... I kind of want to set up on one of these non-one-way roads. Something kind of like this might be good. We'll probably get rid of one of your houses. Maybe maybe two. We'll, we'll do something kind of like this, I think. That'll be fine. There we go. All right. We're going to have a nice little uh, elementary school located as such. And then continue to grow. And we'll probably raise up the taxes to about 11%. Somewhere between 10 and 12 is probably okay, at least at the beginning of the game. Now we're a worthy village with a population of 650. We have access to a whole new area that we can purchase. We have access to districts, policies, more loans district specializations, and so on, some emergency services. Uh, Self-sufficient buildings, that's a new residential specialization. Hmm, not sure we're going to take advantage of that, maybe. Organic and local produce, police station, firehouses, a lot of basics. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and get that set up as well. Uh, I do need some more roads, though, first. Okay, now what do we want first? A uh, firehouse would certainly be good to try and make sure that, you know, none of my industrial buildings burn down. Um, police might be a little bit better to start off, though. Just to kind of reduce any crime opportunities. So we'll place one right there. Uh, fire station, I guess I could place right over here. A little concerned that people will be upset by the noise complaints. If there are noise complaints about a fire station, and if they're going to complain about that, well, you know what? Screw you. It's an essential service. All right, we're going to go ahead and place something like that. I don't even have access to a clinic yet, but that's because we are a little bit out of money. So as I get more of that, we'll see how that works out. Uh, we could go for some more power because we are starting to run out of electricity. So we're going to need to get ourselves some more um, wind turbines, but... First, I need to generate a little bit more dough. Just a tiny little bit. Come on. Come on. Give me more money. There we go. That'll work fine. Thank you. Place one. Whoops. Did not do that. There we go. Place one right here. How's our water capacity? Looking fine. Garbage capacity is looking A-OK -okay for now. And uh, zoning-wise, yeah, we are gradually growing out. We're going to need a lot more residential, unfortunately. And I'm kind of getting to a point where this grid's going to get cut off by the coastline. So I could start getting creative and moving housing along the coastline, and that would be A-OK, -okay, but uh, I think for now we'll just stick with the basic grid just for today's video, and then maybe uh, next time we'll start getting a bit more creative. Now, today's video is probably going to be a little shorter than you're used to, and I think that's kind of unavoidable for the early game of uh, City Skylines. It's pretty basic. There's not a whole lot to see. You're going to set out a basic grid pattern, get some zoning, get some basic services, start building out that population to unlock new cool stuff, and uh, start building out your tax base so you can afford said new cool stuff. And that's what we're doing right now. Had I instead opted for the unlimited money cheat, then uh, obviously I'd be doing things completely different right now, and we could have a lot of fun with this landscape. But for now... We're going without any cheats, that means I have to do the work and start building things up from scratch. So bear with me, shorter video, but I think it will be worth it in the long run. And now we are a tiny town, a population of 1100. We have access to landscaping, public event policies, parks, plazas and stuff, which will be quite nice. A few more policies that I'll probably never use, some pathing, some canals, which I may never use. Well, maybe we'll get to, we'll see. A eh, whole load of different parks, some high schools and stuff, that'll all be important. Botanical gardens, that sounds amazing. 
Uh, stuff like that. Okay, all this seems pretty good. We're running a little bit low on power, but fortunately that came at just the right time to give me some extra cash that I can use to buy at least a couple more of these windmills. Just kind of keep things going. And how are we looking as far as student capacity? Uh, we're running a little low, shockingly enough. Okay. Well, um, I mean, while we could do the community school, again, being more expensive, I just have to think that that's probably not going to be as good. So let's instead set up a new elementary school down over here. I set up an elementary school, right? Yes, okay. For a second, I was afraid I clicked on the wrong thing, but there we go. Make sure we can keep everybody nice and educated because I've had problems with that in the past. And then we'll see where things go from there. Finally have enough money to place down a clinic. Good lord. People have been dying, literally dying without this thing. Um, where best to set this up, though? Unfortunately, the one-way roads does make it a little awkward. Eh, we could probably place it somewhere like over here, and that would access a fair bit of stuff. Maybe. If I place it instead like right over here, though, what I could do is possibly change up which direction the one-way roads are going just to allow a little bit more variation. So, for example, change this around so that these uh, instead go down, kind of like that. And maybe that gets me a little bit more access, just to be a little bit less frustrating for people. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with that. All right, that should be a little bit better. We seem to have a small problem. Um, what happened to my fire stuff? What? Did, you, did I not place one? Oh, crud. I thought that I placed a firehouse. Maybe I did not. Wait, no. I'm very confused. I thought for sure that I did. Ah! Police station. Ah, yes. I decided to prioritize something other than fire. Well, the city's gonna burn. Well, I don't think we deserve it, but now we're a boom town with 1,900 population, which means even more areas are unlocked. We have access to some basic public transportation. Ferries, buses, trams, taxis. Or industry specialization could be kind of nice. Recycling is now available. A few different policies. And some new intersections and road types, which will mean that we can finally start modernizing a lot of these roads and start getting away from the one road stuff, the one lane direction kind of roads, and start moving toward proper avenues and so on, which would be good. Better wind turbines. Tempting. Also, geothermal heating plants. Boiler stations. Yeah, some of this stuff looks kind of cool. Oh, I placed a second police station instead of another fire sta- Oh. Oops. Well, that explains a little bit. And just to make sure nobody remembers, let's go ahead and fund a new plaza. This one is also from the Steam Workshop. I will say I've downloaded quite a few of those. Uh, different parks, plazas, different mods and stuff for the game. Quite a few. Um, not very many that change major game mechanics, with the exception, perhaps, of the move tool. Uh, but I really love the creativity that people have offered in this game through the modding scene on the Steam Workshop. It's really quite cool. Great parks and stuff like that. I love it. You know, I'm really looking forward to getting rid of these one-way roads at some point. I mean, they're great for what they do. Eliminating all those traffic lights means that everything moves a lot faster. It'll be great. But pretty soon, we should have access to the large roundabouts, and that'll do a lot of the same kind of stuff, at least at the major intersections. And we can start moving to proper two-lane roads, and that will just mean I don't have to worry about actually getting all this stuff to line up and make sure all my services can access stuff I want. Because right now, you know, some things like schools, for example, might miss a huge chunk of uh, the city because... One-way roads means it's a little bit outside of their range and stuff like that, so... It'll be good to get away from that, and I do plan on doing so. We'll have an avenue probably run right through the center of the town, just kind of the, uh, the main artery for the traffic patterns in our city. But, we're not there yet. We'll get there eventually. It'll be nice. Yeah, stuff to look forward to. Oh, something apparently happened. Our sewage output is completely out. What the heck? It's acting as if I have no power. I should have power? I've got plenty of power. What are you talking about? Oh. How did this get changed? I didn't mess with that. I have no idea, but somehow these turned off and everyone's toilet started backing up. Well, I'm a terrible mayor, but uh, at least I'm environmentally friendly. Sort of. Kind of. Maybe. I don't know. All right, that should be working a little bit better at least. I know, by the way, that we haven't done, like, a lot of new Green Cities content thus far, besides maybe the recycling and the eco-water treatments thing. Eh, okay, fine. I know that a lot of people would look at this and say, Green Cities, you know, you're supposed to go for the uh, districts and actually set up some policies and force people to use sustainable energy and grow plants all over their buildings and stuff like that. We'll get there eventually, I have no doubt. Uh, but again, we're just kind of starting off with a basic beginning in City Skylines. We'll branch out into new content eventually, I do promise you that much. But for now, it doesn't seem very practical and it's quite expensive for really not a whole lot of gain when we still don't have the basics set up yet. So we'll get there. Just not yet. 
Well, we are constantly having energy problems, and I can't seem to get enough money fast enough to get more wind turbines. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the city policies right over here. And this is going to cost me a lot of money, but at least for now, we can reduce the electrical consumption for every building. It will cost me a fair bit. This is not going to be cheap. But if we can reduce our electricity consumption and make it more manageable, that would be nice. Sort of, because it keeps shutting off my sewers. Yeah, this is just getting worse and worse, isn't it? There we go, now the policy is kicking in. Okay, electricity availability is going up quite a bit, and money is going to start going down. Well, eventually. Well, so far, it seems okay. All right. The pollution in this game always just disgusts me. You look at something like this in the water, and it's just like, Ah, oh, Lord. Keep far away from there, please. It gets better as you unlock cleaner and better technologies, but woof. Not fun to look at. Gotta throw in a cemetery, of course, because apparently some people have died in this city. Can't imagine it has anything to do with the fires that burned down half my industrial zone, but now we got one of those. That's certainly gonna be quite nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in a high school, because I want to make sure that we are educating our children for the jobs of tomorrow. I say that in part because I know that a lot of my commercial buildings are finding they can't find enough educated workers, so... And we're already almost at capacity for the high school, which tells you something. That's only been open for like a week. Well, anyway. Alright, so now that we're at this stage of the city's development, we're making a fairly decent amount of money, got about 3,500 population, demand across the board. The question is, do I commit to this grid pattern, or do I start making things look a little bit more interesting? And I'm gonna vote for a little bit more interesting if we can. The question is how best to do this. Do we want to start working our way down the coast, perhaps relocate our sewage stuff somewhere else that's not quite so uh, putrid? Maybe have a little bit of fun with that? That could be. Alternatively, we could go over this direction. I mean, we do need to buy some new land. Let's see. This will cost $5,200. There's a lot of good buildable land. There's more hi um, highway land over here as well. It's not too bad. Uh, there is some fertile land that we could start doing some farming. You know, that could be kind of fun with the Green Cities expansion. Maybe start doing some, like, organic and local uh, farming kind of produce stuff. That might be fun. It's not quite where I expected to, uh, you know, start expanding my, my uh, residential areas, but that could be pretty good anyway. And this tile just makes no sense at all for our, where we are right now. Alright, let's go ahead and buy this tile then. I'm A-OK -okay with that. We are going to have to set up some farming in this area uh, along the river. Let's see. I, do I remember how to even do that? The answer is probably no. Uh, if I set up a new district, I want to set up a industrial specialized farming industry district right here. Because these are fertile lands, yes? There's supposed to be a map mode to find this stuff. I'm just struggling to figure out where it is. Uh, info views. Oh uh, gosh, it's been so long since I played City Skylines. Um, uh, natural resources, there we go. Fertile lands. Oh, okay, yes. Oh, this is looking really good. Look at that. There's a whole load of farming space over here. Okay, yeah, we're gonna take advantage of some of that then. So yeah, let's set up a let's set up a basic farming area. I'm gonna do a quick district just so I don't lose track of it. Or can I not? Um, well, I can't paint it yet. Maybe ah, I don't know. I'll figure out the districts in a second. Let's get some roads going. Oh, of course I would run out of money as I'm working on these roads. Oops, it's a little bit of an oversight on my part. Okay, well that's fine though. Um, now how best to do this? I could just create a quick little, uh, overpass of the highway. Just do a little road, elevate it up, go around. Do I want to do instead some sort of highway exits? Am I even able to do that at this stage of the game? Well, let's see. Road conditions, highways, maybe? Um, there's the ramps. So if I wanted to do an off-ramp that kind of went off this direction, I totally could do so. Yeah, and then maybe have something come around this way. Mmm. It is possible. Let's play around with it a little bit. I want to have some elevation stuff. We're going to have you go off this direction. How do I... Uh, there's a button to make these things elevate, but I'm trying to remember what it is. Ah, page up and page down. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Perfect. So let's do just like a simple round... Thing kind of like this. We'll go over this way. We'll go page up a couple times, and we'll have it go over. Uh, that may be a little bit too sharp. Highway exits kind of important. You do them well, you know. I mean, if you don't, then well, things tend to get a little hectic. Maybe we will do a free form. We'll do something kind of like this. We'll start off by coming over here, a little bit nicer. Okay. Um, 
page up. Eh, maybe this will look all right. Okay, that's not that's not terrible. I can kind of work with that. All right, all right. We'll go around. Oh wait, I'm out of money again, aren't I? Gosh dang it! <laughs> all right, well I got a bridge to nowhere, but we'll figure this out eventually. I promise. I think I did mention that I have the move tool as a mod installed, which is really darn handy, because what I have to do is just click on a little node here. And if I want to just uh, hit the M key, right, to select, just kind of turn on the tool, I can use my arrow keys to kind of move this stuff around a little bit, which makes it a lot easier to get these roads just the way that I want it. Something kind of like this should work. All right. A little bit ugly. Not the best thing I've ever done, but... Now we have on and off ramps in both directions, and we can access a farming area. Hooray! And then we can just use the Paint District tool to kind of get this entire area kind of covered. Just lightly, sort of something like this. Right now it's called Primrose Park. I guess I don't really care that much. And I think we can just select this now with the uh, farming industry and specifically say that that's what we want this to be. Okay, so this is a um, farming area only using the fertile lands. We probably should set up a few houses in the area, at the very least, so the farmers can be kind of close to this place. Um, but I don't anticipate we're going to need a lot more from the highway. Maybe we can set something up over here as well. I'm not sure. Okay, maybe something like this will work. I've never actually done a uh, farming district in City Skylines before, so uh, I'm very curious to see if this is actually going to work the way that I want it to. But let's go ahead and just kind of get all this as one big district, kind of like so. And what I might actually do is play around a little bit with some of the policies. For example, wouldn't it be kind of cool if we could force everyone to grow organically? Wouldn't it be kind of cool if I could uh, force everyone to have self-sustaining housing? I'm not too sure yet. Let's see. Policies. There's a way to manage this stuff. If I, whoop, that's not what I wanted. Hang on. Let's get rid of a little bit of that. There we go. Something kind of like that. Okay. Uh, I wanted to go to... I want to select the district somehow. Um, crud. Where's the button for it? Oh, there we go. We just had to find the name and click on it. Okay, so if we go here, we go to policies, and I can say I don't care about the power usage here, but I would like... Uh, well, I thought there would be something we could use here to try and force people to... Um, well, maybe there's a different way to do it. Hang on. What if we went to um, residential? Aha! Here's the self-sustaining stuff. Okay, self-sufficient buildings. Click here. There we go. Only self-sufficient buildings are allowed. No residential specialization, don't care about that. Organic and local produce? So, there's a downside to a lot of this stuff. If we look at the self-sufficient bu buildings, it does consume less electricity and produce less garbage, but it also generates less taxes. In the long run, maybe that pays for itself, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. Either way, it's kind of cool, though. Residential, if we wanted to have organic and local produce, um, changes the commercial area consistent with buildings like organic produce shops, electric cars, charging stations, and such. Produces 50% of sold goods locally. Truck traffic is reduced. Increases electricity consumption and reduces garbage production. Not sure that's quite what I've got in mind. So we'll kind of leave it as it is for the time being and say that that's good enough. Alright, let's run some electricity down this way and see if we can start building out some new areas. Okay, okay, starting to see a little farming community build up here in Primrose Park. Doesn't seem like they're farming much of anything at the moment, but they're starting to do something. Okay, maybe we'll see some agricultural goods heading into town. It's nice to diversify my industry a little bit if we can. Now, I do think that we're probably going to need to have some more services in order to make this work. Uh, we'll probably need to have another school for all the uh, farm kids that are going to be in this area. We're probably going to want to have... Uh, let's say another fire station, another police station, and stuff like that. We might even use um, the roads that are already existing to kind of create some nice little suburbs down here. And we can use our paint, uh, not our paint tool, a uh, tree painting tool that we do have access to. Let's say these large bushes. I did, it's another mod that I added in. I can just do some quick little doink, 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 you know, just place a bunch of bushes and stuff like that. Kind of separate it out, have some nice quiet suburbs over here. That would certainly be one option for me. Maybe I'm interested in that. I don't know yet. But I kind of like the way this is shaping out. And now we are a busy town with a population of 4,000. New policies, new buildings and tourism unique buildings. That could be fun. Oil industry, tourism specialization. Hey, we can finally make use of the uh, the bay. That could be great. Let's see, new policies, new roads, including some with trees and um, highways with sound barriers. Since noise pollution is now a major mechanic in cities, uh, skylines with the green cities expansion, 
you know, that could actually be pretty useful to us at some point. All oh, this looks kind of nice. Ooh, bus lanes and everything. Beautiful. Police headquarters, new gardens, fire stations, power plants, fishing piers and tours and marinas. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, so in the very next video, what we're probably going to have to do is start actually building out some uh, water tourism. We'll probably get rid of at least a few of the buildings here, set up a nice road along the coastline, and set up a marina, and encourage people to start sh uh, start fishing in the uh, the bay here. Could be lovely. Could be. It also could be totally a waste of my time. I have no idea yet. Ooh, and for once, we're actually starting to run a little out of water. Okay, let's throw another one of these in here. Um, this you right like so. Get you hooked up to the water pipes. All right, perfect. And we do need some more sewage treatments. These ecosystems are not that great. They're just getting a little bit pricey for me. We do have access to a few new things as well, though. The fresh water outlet, for example, which just pushes out excess water and creates, like, little ponds and stuff if we want to terraform the land. Uh, I don't really have the money. $100,000, ouch, for a pumping service. Don't need a tank reservoir and stuff like that. We'll have to keep going with what we've got for now, but yeah. This stuff's starting to look a little on the hideous side. Oh well, not much I can do about it. And before we finish up this video, I think we do need to throw in some more parks and stuff just to beautify this area a little bit, because right now it's just kind of like, eh, not great, not bad, but not great. A plaza with some trees, for example, down here, just to make this farm area seem a little bit more appealing to the people currently living there. Yeah, I'm alright with that. Let's go ahead and place one right there. Make everyone look a little bit happier. And then down here... Probably something similar, but maybe a little bit more involved. A dog park wouldn't be so bad. Let's see. Dog park, $40 a week, costs $5,000 to build. That's not terrible. We can make that work. Place one right here. There we go. Yeah! Yeah! We're going to make sure that everyone loves living here. It's going to be beautiful. A Japanese garden. You know what? Just because I think it's awesome, let's go ahead and place one like so. Perfect. What's this? A tsunami warning buoy? I don't know, I was just flashing like, hey, got a new building. Tsunami warning buoy. Huh. See what, you just place this somewhere out here in the ocean, and if all of a sudden it looks like a tsunami is coming in the bay, it's going to let us know? I mean, that's probably pretty helpful, but geez, what are the odds of that? Let's take a look at what some of these uh, self-sustaining houses look like. What is this stuff? Why does everyone think that growing plants on their roof is the best thing to do? I mean, I'm not too sure. They kind of look nice, I guess? Not a little bit boxy and sort of plain, but... I mean, hey, yeah, if it's helping protect the planet, it's not creating a lot of garbage, and it's not creating a lot of... Uh, using up all the electricity, then... Really, who am I to complain? Let's go ahead and continue this trend and throw in a nice little suburban area right over here. Something kind of like this should be nice, because we're having some capacity issues for uh, housing. And this should go a pretty long way to helping with that. Wonderful, I like it. So far, I think this city is turning out pretty well. Lots of room for improvement. We're going to start messing with avenues next time, get some tourism going. But for now, I think this is a good place to stop. So thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed and are looking forward to the rest of this series because I know I'm looking forward to playing it. If you did enjoy, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.